When it comes to weddings, many think bigger and bolder is better. And recently, that's meant a wild ceremony involving exotic animals. That leads to some logistical and legal issues. Here's David Begno. When dreaming of a perfect wedding, nothing says love quite like... <laughs> llamas? I never would have thought ever in a million years that two llamas would have shown up at my wedding. <laughs> Paintball Pete and Serendipity wore matching tuxedo bibs as they stood witness to Kim Dalton and Garrett Zeem's I Do's on a beach in Florida this year. There was a lot of screams, laughing, uh, just oh my God, and it was a, a great surprise for everybody. Exotic animals are becoming the new must-have for couples seeking that wow moment to make their wedding unforgettable. There's even a penguin proposal at the Cincinnati Zoo, where Kyle Guthrow asked his penguin-crazed girlfriend Kelly to marry him. She did. In Las Vegas, where opulence is in good company, a groom of Indian descent rode atop an elephant in front of the Bellagio Hotel. Some 10,000 guests danced around Ty, the four-and-a-half-ton animal thought to bring good luck. Kind Tori of Cooper was the wedding planner. It's part of their culture. And when I stand back and look at it and I'm a part of it, I'm like, how can you go, how can you say anything but wow? How much was that elephant? <laughs> Elephants cost $10,000 to bring to Las Vegas. Exotic animals make for a high-end wedding because they're hard to get approval or to be able to make them come to the middle of the desert. The Bellagio required Ty's owner to have a multi-million dollar insurance policy before the animal was allowed on site. In fact, any animal used in weddings must be licensed and monitored by the federal government. Owners of exotic animals must file a travel itinerary and ensure there's enough distance between the animal and the public. But distance was not what this bride wanted when she got up close and personal with a lion cub. Here's that same bride and her groom with a giraffe. And this, a photo so spectacular, it looks photoshopped. But it's not. That photo was actually taken here at the Lion Habitat Ranch in Las Vegas, where couples looking to get married, or perhaps if they want to have a wedding here, can come and get right inside this Jeep right here, right near Bentley the Lion, as a handler throws a piece of steak so that hopefully he'll get in just the right position for that perfect shot. Sometimes it takes a few pieces. What's the draw for people who want to get married with lions? Well, it beats going to Africa. A lot cheaper. Keith Evans owns the Lion Habitat Ranch that is now open to couples looking to add some roar to their vows. It's become more popular to do different over-the-top weddings because everybody has a wedding photo. So they want something that nobody else has. And you're a good boy. In Huntington Beach, California, they don't want any exotic animals used as entertainment at weddings. They've had a law since 2002 banning it. So earlier this year, when an elephant was used in a wedding there, the city was not impressed. Jill Hardy is the mayor. The hotel um, had given permission for the wedding. They knew better. We know that, they, that we had told them that this was not allowed. No citations were issued. It is a reminder that when it comes to weddings with exotic animals, the laws may vary and the choices may be costly. But the reactions <laughs> are as priceless as the memories made. It was the best and biggest surprise of my life, and it made an amazing day so much better. For CBS This Morning Saturday, I'm David Begno in Las Vegas. Kind of gives new meaning to the phrase, my wedding was a zoo. <laughs> My only thought, though, is as a former bridezilla, why would you want anything that took the eyes off of you? Yeah, yeah. So. a $10,000 elephant. No, yeah. I don't know. <laughs>